So a while back in iTerm2, I noticed a new feature, and you can activate it with Command, Shift, and Dot. It's this little bubble that pops up where you can type in some sort of question about a command that you want to run. Of course, it can do something trivial like list files. And then if I use Command B, I can reach out to the OpenAI API and convert this into a suggested command using a GPT model. And when I'm ready to use that, I can just hit Shift Return, and it'll actually run the command. Of course, that's a trivial example. Let's do something a bit more worthwhile. Inside of my compose file, I define a port that I want to listen on, 5148 in this case. So maybe I want to modify that file and see if I can't get away with doing this quickly here. Command shift dot and say modify port in all YAML files to be 5147 instead of 5148. And then hit command B. That'll translate it, hopefully. All right, just accept that and run that. I can look at a get diff here of the changes and look at that, it's actually modified the port. So I have to admit at first, I didn't really understand the need to have this little dialog box. I felt like it was out of band and I'd like to have something just in line with where I'm entering the command. But now that I think of this as a box where I can draft a command, perfect it and then run it, I think I like the idea of this. It's like having a little conversation about the command that I want to run. For example, let's just say I don't know how to do something and I want to change my prompt here to and foo greater than. Let's see if it can do it. All right, let's accept that, run it, and look at that. My prompt has changed. In order to use this, you need to open up the settings, come over to the magic tab underneath of general, and then paste in an API key that gives you access to the OpenAI API. So you have to pay for this, but in my experience, it's pretty cheap to use this. So I'd strongly suggest trying this feature out. And then if you try this out, why don't you let me know in the comments what you think about it, especially if you come up with some new way to think about it that makes it even more useful. I'd love to know that because I'm always looking for ways to improve what I do.